I'm Shelly Turner with the Builder All Team. In this video, we're going to learn about how to build an upsell downsell funnel inside of Canvas. So, how is this upsell downsell funnel used? It's actually designed to send your potential customers through a series of pages that allow them to choose a predetermined list of items to purchase. If they say no thank you to one or more of the items, they can actually be sent to an alternative downsell page with a different product or service. So how are we gonna use this funnel in different niches? Coaches and consultants, affiliate marketing, salespeople, offline business, and business to business owners can actually use this funnel to allow you to send potential customers through a predetermined path in your website. So you can sell specific products or services. So let's take a look at how we can add this new funnel in Canvas. So the first step is to add the funnel. The second step is to go ahead and create a funnel title and a funnel description. And then the third step is to click next. Then you're gonna choose the upsell and downsell template from the list and then choose create. Now let's take a look in Canvas to see what the upsell downsell funnel looks like. Here I am in Canvas and I'm in my upsell downsell funnel. And let's take a look at how this works for the website visitor. So the first thing they're gonna hit is the sales page. This is the entry into the upsell downsell funnel. On that sales page, they have the option to check out and purchase that product. If they purchase that product, they're gonna be sent to another sales page. And on that sales page, they have the option to make the purchase or they have the option to say no thank you. If they make the purchase, they're gonna to go to the upsell page. The upsell page, they have a chance to purchase something else afterwards. So when they make the purchase, they go to the checkout again. And when they make that purchase, they'll get sent to the upsell number two. Once they purchase that, they're gonna be sent to the thank you page. Now there's a completely different path a person could take. They could go to the sales page and make the purchase, then get sent to the second sales page and say no thank you. And if they say no thank you to the second sales page, they'll get sent to the down sell page where they can choose to purchase that item or say no thank you. Either way, they'll get sent to the thank you page when they're finished. It's a definite path that you want your website visitors to follow to be exposed to your products and purchase those products through that path that you set up. That path includes upsells and downsells along the way. Now in this particular funnel, the main thing you're gonna to need to set up is the checkouts. So for each one of these checkouts, we're gonna go ahead and set them up. So I'm gonna right click the checkout product number one, and I'm gonna click edit element. And here I can set up the title of the product, the price, and if the purchase is successful, what page do they go to? And if they want to go to a down sell, what page do they go to? This is the first product that's for sale in this funnel. So it does not have a down sell page and the visitor cannot choose no thank you. They'll either purchase this first item or they'll leave the funnel. Everything is set up here. So I'm gonna to go to check out upsell number one and click edit element. And here I'm gonna put in the title, the price, the success page, and the down sell page. Both the success and the down sell page are already set up. I'm gonna to go to check out upsell number two, go to edit element. And again, I put the title, the price, and then I'm gonna make sure I designate what the success page is and what the downsell page is. Then I'm gonna to go to checkout number three and I'm gonna click edit element. I'm gonna put in the title, the price, and the success and the downsell page. Then I'm gonna do checkout for the downsell and I'm gonna click edit element. And when we edit the element, we can edit the title, the price, the success page and the downsell page, and then that's done. So now we've got everything connected the way it needs to be connected and our whole funnel is created. So the next step is to click save and then okay. And then I can click create the website. I need to come up with the website name and then click create. In the background, Canvas has created the website for me and I've got a couple of choices. I can click okay to stay in Canvas or I can click access the website and I can access the website in the Pixel Perfect Builder and work on my design and content for that website. So that's how you use Canvas to create an upsell, downsell funnel inside of Builderall.